Mike Sanders, number five, has joins the announced desk. Is he in every fucking segment I wrote in all caps? So, I know it was a tasteless joke, but was he, like, knocked out cold in that brawl with DDP? Because he's out there, and he's terrible. Mike Sanders, how do you have this tag match now? you got to face Kevin Nash and DDP. I don't want to talk about it. I just not want to talk about it. Do you want to talk about anything else? No. Do you have sucks. a point? What was he out there for? Let's talk about what was good. No, I don't know what he's out there for. So he's he does eventually say they've got a young hotshot coming out, and he's got something in store for this young hotshot, and then out comes Quee Wee. Record scratch. I was I've been waiting for this moment for a while for this mm-hmm. match. Now I was worried in my mind this may have happened on Thunder. No. And I think the reason I thought that is because some point in the past month or two, Nitro switched to blue ropes. Mm. So when I saw the blue ropes, I think I associated that with Thunder. But when Kiwi came out and Commissioner Mike Sanders was mad at Kiwi, and we didn't know what Kiwi was doing out here, there was a mystery opponent. I thought, oh my God, this this may be it. Mm-hmm. This may be the, key, the, the, the moment in WCW in 2000. And then Bill Goldberg's music. <laughs> Whatever the opposite of taking a walk is, I guess it's sitting there in rapt attention. You buckled up. I did. I buckled up. Yes. Bill Goldberg versus Queewee. It's etched in my brain, so I knew everything that happened. Like, like the, when it happened live in the year 2000, I have not for one second forgotten a single frame of this match. Bill Goldberg comes out. He's spitting, snarling. Queewee knows he's got one shot is to catch this guy off guard. So as Goldberg begins to... May I add that Goldberg's thinking about all that fucking glitter that was on him last week on Thunder. Mm -hmm. I thought of that. No glitter this week. uh, No, or ever again, I'm sure. As Goldberg gets in the apron, Kiwi jumps him. He does like two or three elbows. And then Goldberg kind of like slips through the ropes. Kiwi runs to do hit the other ropes into a springboard. And he had some spot where he did this. It was into a kick or a dive or whatever. He runs across the ropes, does a springboard, and bounces back and spins it around in midair. So he's doing this. Bill Goldberg climbs into the ring, preps every muscle in his body, from the smallest toe to the top of his head. And he dashes forward, and he cuts Kiwi in half with a spear. The most brutal, awesome thing. Queenie's in midair coming down. And then he's going back up. Because he's been hit so damn hard. The referee jumps high in the air. All the fans throw their hands in the air. Queenie's head goes spitting off into the crowd. And then as Goldberg gets up, he's snarling, spitting, stomping, fires, breathing out his nose. I watched this over and over and over. And then he made a gif of it. And I just watched that gif for like five minutes. It's the most beautiful thing. I was weeping tears of joy. If Queenie had been wearing glitter, yes. there would have been a glitter silhouette. It would have looked like the Death Star blowing up. That would have been even better. Kind of sad, actually. So, for what it's worth, he jackhammers and, and pins him. Tony Schiavone is going even crazier than you are because Goldberg speared him out of his boots. His boots that, literally go flying. That's the Sanders spot. Ah. That's to come. Yeah. That's next, yes. Now, for mathematical record-keeping purposes, I want it down. Queenie versus Goldberg on the November 20th episode of uh, Nitro in the year 2000. Eight stars. Mm. <laughs> so then, Goldberg goes to Sanders, who is at the announce desk, and Goldberg said, tells him, I fight my battles, I don't fight yours. And he starts to leave, but out comes Ric Flair, who stops Goldberg from leaving and says, come this way, franchise. That's a pissed off chains in the fears. So Flair says, Mike Sanders has a problem being a commissioner and a wrestler at the same time. We all know you put Sand- or you put Queeby in the ring with Goldberg to soften him up, but your match with Queeby and Mayhem on Sunday. Well, we're going to do things fair. We're going to make everything equal. Mike Sanders, you are a wrestler, and you are next. Goldberg's very happy about this. He grabs Mike Sanders. He throws him into the ring. Hits him with a pump handle slam, so you know he means business. Greatest finisher in all of wrestling. 
Then they spear and jackhammer or overkill at this point. And here, Tony was so happy about Sanders getting speared out of his shoes. It's a cliche, and it happened. Goldberg won, 